Welcome to the Neptune PWM Boost setup video. First, let's take a look at the options. We have the Enable PWM checkbox, the Low High Input with the Invert option, and our three different types of PWM Boost control. We also have Frequency and our Set Duty Cycle settings, but we'll get to that in a minute. In the PWM correction settings, we have IAT correction based on temperature and TPS correction based on TPS percentage. The IAT correction is a plus or minus percentage based on temperature and the TPS correction allows you to go 0 to 100 percent based on throttle to lower your boost at lower throttle settings. Back on the PWM setup page we have frequency. This allows you to choose from several different options for your boost control solenoid. 31 Hz is a standard for the AEM, Mac, and Honda models. Let's begin with the set duty cycle settings. Set duty cycle allows you to hold one boost pressure for your low and high settings. You can easily switch between low and high boost settings by choosing the input from the low high input menu. Moving on to our target boost by gear settings, we have a target PSI table with corresponding duty cycle. To build your table, simply use the set duty cycle setup to test different duty cycles and what boost you achieve at that duty cycle. Then enter those values into the table. Once you have all the duty cycles entered for each of your target PSI breakpoints, all you have to do is enter the target PSI in one of the gear labels below for low and high. These settings are switched based on your low high input. To make target boost active, go to the PWM setup page, select target boost from the type menu, and now you're good to go. To use separate low and high boost settings, simply go over to the PWM setup page and select your low high input. Now that we have the low high input selected, we can enter different target PSIs for each gear. You can also check the use gear versus RPM for high boost setting to switch to gear versus RPM when the low high input is activated. If you want to use gear versus RPM full time, simply select it from the type menu in the PWM setup. On the gear versus RPM page, we have RPM breakpoints for every gear 1 through 5. For every RPM breakpoint, we will need to enter the duty cycle that we want to see. This will need to be set for every single gear separately. We also have the ability to enter the boost pressure that you want to see, right click, and convert the PSI straight over to duty cycle to fit the format. This makes things much easier. Now finish entering your duty cycle breakpoints, make some runs, adjust as needed, and you are done. Happy boosting!